Hello and welcome to the North Point Bulletin for the month of May. And what an interesting month it has been. We want to thank all of our members and churches for adapting to the new conditions. We have been encouraged by the dedication of our members to minister to their communities in this time of need. There are 29 different ministries across our conference currently providing essential services and support to those most in need. Many of our coastal churches are adopting churches out west and in turn churches out west have been relentlessly sustaining their local communities with food, financial and mental health support. A group of residents from Adventist Senior Living in Kurumbong have fundraised over $115,000 over the last two years to support the communities of Narrabri, Pilagar and Wabigar. And even though the rains have returned, it will take farmers out west several years to replenish their numbers of livestock and start seeing revenue. So we have to continue supporting our regional communities. The Adventist Community Services and ADRA Director, David Hout, has just released a full report on the work being done in this area. The way that our churches keep on adjusting to respond effectively to the needs of our community. It's interesting how that God sometimes open new doors. Make sure you check out the full ACS ADRA report on our news page, YouTube channel, and Facebook page. Two online evangelistic series were launched this month. The first is Hope Online, a three-stage program. We're currently in stage two called Hope Awakens, which will run till June 10. If you want to get involved in this exciting evangelistic opportunity, visit disciple.org.au and become a digital Bible worker. The second online evangelistic series is called The End, and it is an initiative of the North New South Wales Conference Evangelism Department, produced and marketed in collaboration with the Adventist Media Centre. The team have currently aired six of the 24 episodes, and there are already requests coming in for Bible studies and baptisms. Praise God. For more information on this series and on how you can get involved, visit theend.digital. A number of our pastors are exploring radio ministry with two live afternoon shows now airing on Faith FM from the conference office. You can listen to Looking Up with Peter Watson and Danny Malenkov every Wednesday afternoon at 3.30pm and Real Faith with Katie and Robbie Morgan on Thursdays. And don't forget, Sabbath School is broadcast live every Sabbath morning. Tune into Faith FM or download the Faith FM app. If you're looking for more resources and tools on how to do church online, you need to check out Digital Discipleship. They are constantly releasing really valuable resources. So jump on their website, digitaldisciples.info and subscribe. Our last news item for today, the South Pacific Division is inviting you to join in a special SPD-wide Sabbath program this weekend. Starting with a Friday evening program, Sabbath school, worship service, and an afternoon program. Here are some more details. Hashtag, we are the church. Please join us this weekend where we're going to hear some awesome stories from right around our South Pacific division. Pastor Glenn, where are we going to hear from? We're going to hear from Papua New Guinea. We're going to hear from uh, New Zealand. We're going to hear from Tahiti, Australia, and everything in between. What about Fiji? Even Fiji. Amen. And uh, what we're going to hear is our union presidents giving devotionals, our institutional leaders telling us what they've been doing in the pandemic. But most of all, we're going to hear from us, the church, Amen. and the creative ways that God has been using us in ministry right around this division. So we look forward to seeing you on Sabbath, Friday evening and Sabbath morning, Sabbath afternoon. You won't want to miss it. See you then. See you then. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you next month on the North Point Bulletin video and you can expect the print editions to be back in your churches in July. God bless.